Well, some of the surviving witnesses of the assassination of President John F. Kennedy are among those sharing their stories as the nation marks 60 years today since his death. Today in downtown Dallas, there are several exhibits and a ceremony honoring the late president. Fox 4's Alex Boyer is there live. Alex. Hey, Dan, you know, it's hard to believe it's been six decades since then President John F. Kennedy was assassinated uh, while his motorcade drove through Dealey Plaza here in downtown Dallas. Now, a couple hundred people have gathered here today at the plaza to commemorate the 60th year since Kennedy was killed. I'm told that there will be a moment of silence at 12.30 p.m. today. Now, new this year are banners that say JFK was here. They're strategically placed along the motorcade route Kennedy took that day beginning at Dallas Love Field Airport where Air Force One landed. Now, each one is accompanied by a historical photo taken by someone who was along that part of the route that fateful day. Now, the Sixth Floor Museum expects to sell out and a general admission tickets uh, have sold out, I understand, that uh, get you into the new Two Days in Texas exhibit, which shows new archives and items about Kennedy's trip to Texas back in 1963. Uh, there will also be flowers in the exhibit to honor the former president of the museum. Museum does this every year on the anniversary, but what's new this year is something that they're having called gallery talks. Now, that's where a museum employees, they're holding these informational talks that last about uh, 15 and 20 minutes, and they're really uh, special this year in order to mark the 60 uh, years uh, since Kennedy's assassination. And, you know, I've had a chance to talk to a couple people while I've been out here. One gentleman was just 12 years old, had attended the parade here that day uh, when John F. Kennedy was shot. He told me that he's never felt such a high and low on any single day of his life. Mm. Dan? Yeah, some extraordinary and powerful memories. Thanks very much, Alex Boyer, reporting live for us in Dealey Plaza.